Hey, I'm Shannon from Shannon Talks Yarn. If you like mysteries, stick around because I've got this weird mystery bag from the thrift store I'm gonna open up. Thanks for joining me. So I was at the thrift store and I got this very strange bag and today I would like to open it up. It is a bag, there may be bags inside of it. It has masking tape, which you can see I spent 75 cents on this bag and then it has packing tape on top of it. So a lot of it, I mean, I can see a lot of bright colors, but it is smushed in here pretty well, and I don't know what it is. Now, I do have a rule about the thrift store about only purchasing things that I can smell. So um, we will see. I have seen other people open um, mystery bags from the thrift store, and you know, it's just like gross and they can't use it. But I was willing to gamble for 75 cents. Um, so we will see. Um, on a side note, I have at a different store that had their bags or had yarn in bags, kind of ripped like a tiny hole in the back just to be able to smell the yarn and make sure that it was fine. And I am sure that if I left any there after I smelled it, I'm sure the person who came after me to purchase it <laughs> appreciated that as well. But this, this is like a heavy, heavy plastic. I don't know if you can hear the crinkle or not. So um, why don't we get into it? Oh, before I do, the other thing I got was this little crocheted item. So I just, I know it is a little silly, but I could not stop myself. Like he just made me smile. Look at his eyeballs. Uh, here's the back of him. Um, I know I could make this, but he was a quarter and so he came home with me. So anyway, let's get into this. Um, I will have my scissors and I'm going to start here by cutting the top as carefully as I can. I don't want to accidentally cut any of the yarn. Packaging is kind of kind of weird here with all of the tape. I almost cut into some there. I don't smell anything off-putting so far, so that's a good sign. All right. We got it open here, so let's see what we have. Okay, first thing that popped out is this tiny piece of pink. Um, it appears to be a one weight. This one might go in my trash pile. It doesn't it's just not like completely fresh and it is so tiny. I think that one might go in my trash pile. There are one, two of these. Let's see what the tag says. Columbia Minerva Reverie, 67% mohair, 33% Orlon, Washable, permanently moth-proofed, net weight one ounce. On the back, it says Columbia Minerva Corporation, New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, San Francisco. Um, yeah, so this is clearly vintage. Yeah, there's no, there's no off-putting or bad smells to that. But yeah, look at this vintage tag. It's just kind of stapled on there. So this is interesting. Um, it is very fine. Uh, there's a tiny little piece of it right there. So yeah, it's, I would call it a tan color. I would not call it olive. So anyway, first thing that I'm, first keeper, I guess I should say. Ooh, this is very scratchy. <laughs> this tiny um, little bit of yellow and this may be the scratchiest piece of yarn I have ever felt in my life. 
<laughs> so I really can't think of anything that I would use this for um, being so small and so rough. I would not ever, I don't even like having it in my hand. It is so rough. So I am going to put that in my um, get rid of pile. Okay, what's this? Seven yards hand spun baby bundle. I mean, it doesn't smell bad. It has a woolier smell to it. Um, there appears to be a tag on here. I can't tell if that said three dollars or eight dollars but here is whoops upside down yeah um this is different this is very different um so i'm kind of thinking that is this more for like an art project possibly um it's definitely shedding a lot um, so, I mean, it's cool, but I don't think I would use this for a project. Um, it might, it might go in the, the get rid of pile. So it's neat. And I mean, the colors are pretty, it's very like springy with the pinks and the greens. Um, but it is a little strange and I really don't know what I would do with it. So maybe it'll go in my maybe pile. It looks like here's something else with the same packaging. Yes, okay, and the tag does clearly say $8. So, seven yards, hand spun, baby bundle. This is softer than the other one. Um, it's got some purples and yellows and grays in it. Again, it just smells kind of wooly, but can you see? It is like shedding like crazy again. So, maybe pile. Okay, this is cool. Um, the Quilting Bee, 10 yards, number 64, and it has an address from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Of course, it doesn't say what it is. So I might leave that in the packaging. Um, there isn't very much of this. Um, so maybe I could make like a notion or it could go to like a critter or something. So that's kind of interesting. Oh my, more of this baby bundle stuff. Yeah, $8 again. Um, so this pretty colors again, like the browns and the pinks and the turquoise and stuff. But yeah, it is rough and shetty. I'm really thinking this is more like art yarn than anything you would use. So, because what would you even, what could you make with seven yards? I don't even know. So we'll see. And it looks like some of that world scratchiest yarn here again in blue. So this is definitely going in my get rid of pile. <laughs> Another one of the seven yards. I am like kind of, like that $8 price tag is kind of crazy to me, you know, and this is the fourth one I've pulled out of here. So um, this is interesting. Um, it I wish it had like the, the content on it. It's got a little sheep on the label, but yeah. So four of those. Um, okay, this is literally just twine. <laughs> like this is twine. Um, yeah, it doesn't smell or anything, and twine is kind of useful. Um, so I'm going to put this in my keep pile, uh, maybe just for another type of crafting or like, I don't know, if I have to use it in my garden or something. So that will go <laughs> in the keep. Okay. Two small balls of this bright pink. Um, you know, it's a four weight. I'm assuming it is acrylic. I would assume possibly like a super saver, to, no smell or anything, um, probably like a super saver type thing. So I could definitely probably get a headband out of this. It's not super soft, um, but th I mean, there's things I could definitely do with that. So, and here is another ball. It is bright orange. This one, um, same way, it is pretty darn scratchy. So I, doesn't smell, um, 
this I'm thinking maybe I, I'll put this in my keep pile and I am thinking possibly more for like a Halloween type craft um, I could see if I could make like maybe like a little stuffed something um, with the orange so I will still keep that here is a, another ball this one's slightly bigger than the other ones no smell or anything um, for weight You can kind of see it's got, I mean, it's got some fuzz to it and you can see it's kind of, I would call it like a turquoise and then like a blue green and a green blue. So yeah, that's kind of right there, I think is about <laughs> what that looks like. So um, it's not super saver, but it's, it's about that level of softness or scratchiness. So um I, I don't, I don't know if I would want a headband out of that, um, but I could definitely make something out of this. Um, again, even if it's like an embellishment, I could make, you know, quite a bit out of that. So I will keep that and put that in my keep pile. Here is a wadded mess of some rainbow colored yarn. I'm very certain that this is super saver. Um, no smell. Um, I kind of think this wadded mess will go in my get rid of pile though. Um, I'm not a huge fan of like the primary colors. Um, it's just not my thing. So, and since it is kind of a weird mess, I'll probably just pass on that one. Okay. What is this? Karen Bliss, plush furry softness with lustry shine, 47% uh, acrylic, 53% nylon, bulky weight fashion yarn, hand wash, lay flat to dry, um, 71 yards. So um, it's very, very soft. Yeah, that is, I do really like that. That is super soft. Um, if this does not look like a full skein. You can see there's quite a bit. I mean, maybe it is and it just got flattened. I mean, that's possible because when I kind of squish it, it kind of fills it out a little bit better. Oh, well, I don't know. Here is also this wad of it. And this definitely feels a little bit thicker than this one, but maybe it's just more compacted. But yeah, neither one of these smell. They are very, very soft. I think I will definitely make myself something out of this. This could be cute like as trim for like a Santa hat and I don't think I have a Santa hat. So maybe I will do that, but I might just make like a hat hat out of this um, because I do really like that. So that's the first one out of here that I'm actually like excited, excited about. Um, so yeah, that is crazy soft. Um, I assume this is definitely a little more on the vintage -y side based on that label. Maybe 90s? I don't know. If you know, let me know. I would love to know. Okay. Um, here is a tiny little ball of light blue. And this is probably a two weight. Probably a two weight. Um, I might keep this on hand in case um, I need to just smell it just in case. Um, you know, it, I don't think I would necessarily make something out of this because it's so small, but it is neatly wound and it is possible that I might need just a little tiny bit, like, I don't know, um, for a face on something or to attach something. I could definitely attach something to something with that. <laughs> How vague is that? Um, but I think I will keep this one because it is neatly wound. Oh, it, you know, I thought this was the same as the scratchy stuff, but it is way softer. Um, but it is this weird bright red and there isn't very much of it. And so I think this will probably go in my get rid of pile. It doesn't smell or anything, but I just, you know, you know. Okay, moving on. Okay, here is more of a gold, and it, this is definitely the scratchy stuff. I, I have no idea what this is. Um, it is literally, hands down, 
the worst feeling yarn I have ever felt in my life. Um, I mean, I think it's definitely vintage. I don't think it's like a wool situation. Um, I don't know what it is, but I don't know. Yeah. So, eh, no, not going with that. Okay, here is um, <laughs> some vintage super saver in a cream color. And uh, it is like a quarter of a skein of this. Um, this I'm going to put this in my maybe pile because, mm, you know, eh, it is super saver. And um, I mean, super saver is pretty cheap to get. And it's kind of, I don't know, it just doesn't look appealing to me. So I'll go on the maybe pile and because I'm sure I could make like something out of that, um, like, like a little stuff something, but if there's better stuff in here, um, it will get shifted into the no pile. Um, here is another little ball. This is cream color and this is super, Ooh, there's, oh my gosh, hold on. There's a sewing needle in it. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That came out of this ball. Okay. Let me get rid of that up here. Okay, so this is super soft. Um, I mean, it's definitely probably like a two weight, um, maybe a three weight. I don't know what it is, but I will probably keep keep this little ball. Just because, See, here's the thing. This is so much easier to contend with than this. Even though there's more of this, I think this will go in my no pile and I will just keep this little ball of cream color instead. little yellow ball, very scratchy. This is going in my get rid of pile. Um, here is a little blue ball, again, pretty scratchy going, I think this is going in my get rid of pile. Okay, so this could be fun. This, I'm pr pretty sure this is homespun. So it is a very bright pink. Like that's that's not my camera <laughs> altering the color at all. It is this pink. So this is kind of fun. There isn't very much of it, um, but I could definitely use this as an embellishment. Yeah, it smells fine. So I will keep that one. Tiny little aqua ball, probably go, probably go. Well, yeah, it's going in the get rid of pile. <laughs> so this is kind of funny. This is in a little package here. Oh, I got uh, some yarn needles in this. That other was like a sewing needle. Um, so here is one. Okay, two little balls of this variegated. I might actually try to make a critter out of this. Um, if you saw in my video where I kind of showed what I made out of some thrifted yarn, I made a little jellyfish and the tutorial I used, actually it was like a multicolored jellyfish. So I think I might be able to make it out of this and that would be cute. So I am gonna keep those two little balls. Um, but yes, here, I mean, these are interesting. Are these for kids? I bet these are for kids. There's two yarn needles, but they have little, um, like little balls on the end there. So maybe that's so a child doesn't stab themselves. But anyway, yarn needles, I will keep those. Okay, so here, this is kind of interesting. So, well, okay, I can't pull that out yet. We'll have to pull some other stuff. Little wad of red, probably going in the no pile. Ooh, this is super soft. Tiny little ball of this peachy corally color right here. Yeah, super soft. I will be keeping that one. And it looks like here is, shoot, this is kind of tangly right here. Okay, same, same stuff. Um, as that peach, but in a cream color and yeah, super soft. So I'll keep that. Get 
getting into some brighter colors here. Oh, this is tangled. I don't know if I can get this one out or not. Okay, yes, I did. So this appears to be actually a chain spun yarn. No smell. Um, it is a bright green. It's pretty soft. Um, yeah, and this is a, you know, a decent sized ball right here. I think somebody was experimenting with some very bright colors. But yeah, I will be keeping that one. Okay, so I don't know if I can... Okay, I'm just gonna have to pull this out. This is the same as that peach and the cream, but it is a dark teal, super soft. Yep, there's no smell, so I will keep that. I'm trying to wind this up a little bit. It seems to have this little wad of purple attached to it. And I think I'm just gonna cut that off and get rid of that mess because that's all there was of the purple, just what was in there. So I'm gonna get rid of that, but I will keep that little ball. Then here is, this is interesting. So here's a variegated and it's that twisty kind. Can you see the twists in there a little bit? Um, I'm not sure. This almost has like more of a polyester type feel. I'm getting like fibers from the air. <laughs> I know. So this almost has like a little bit more of a polyester type feel to it. Um, you know, there really isn't any fuzzies, anything fuzzies just from the other yarn. So I will keep that. I think that is like critter worthy again. And then there's also the same yarn in this like more green and pinkish type. So yeah, here are the two colors of this. This is kind of what I, like I refer to this more as like the golden girls colors. Like this reminds me of the decor in their house, like the, the pink and the mint or the sea foam or whatever. So it just reminds me of that time period of like late eighties, early nineties type of situation. But yeah, I will keep that. Hopefully I can get something out of there. Looks like I got more scrad. Oh yeah. There's more of that awful scratchy stuff in a peach color. So just automatically going there. And this ball of red, I do not think I will be keeping that either. I think that it this red actually is very similar to this orange. And maybe I'll end up getting rid of this orange. Put that in the maybe. I'll put it in the maybe. Moving them over, because I have gotten a bunch of good ones. So. Okay, the rest of this bag is, oh, I'm gonna dig down to the bottom here. Pull out something very strange. It is very soft. It kind of looks like a mess. Let's see what this says. There's a little sticker that says 59 cents on it, and I think that's a Goodwill tag. Let's pull this off. Ah, shoot, it's pulling the label off a little bit. Um, uh, I think it just says, it probably says knitting fuzzy fur, I think is probably what I would assume that would say. And then it's not like a solid ball. There is definitely cardboard in there. So what does it say here? Made in China, scarf pattern on a label. There is 65 yards in this. It is a qu quarter of an ounce. No, 0.4, so just under half an ounce of yarn. Hand wash only, no bleach, no tumble dry, do not iron. Um, so it is fuzzy. Um, you can see the little string in there. Um, what does it say? It does not say what crochet hook you would need. It does say eight millimeter um, knitting needles. So if you can tell me what that would be in a crochet hook, that'd be awesome. There's no smell to this. Um, so I will probably definitely keep this and put this in the keep pile. Um, it'll be interesting to see what I can come up with, but I mean, it is crazy, crazy soft. Did it even say what it was made out of? Oh, 100% nylon, so extremely soft. So I will put that in the keep. And now the rest of this looks like super saber to me. Um, it is kind of in a wad here at the bottom. So I will see what I can pull 
Well, that, that was way easier than I thought. Possibly, there might be like, what do we got here? So like this one big wad. What, I know I have seen this at Walmart. What is the name of this? Please tell me. I know I've seen it. Um, and then here's this like loose wad, that, and then this. So, if there was a smell, I would just toss it, but there's not. And I just don't know if I have the patience to deal with this. I might cut off this portion since that is the neatest. And then, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, here's the thing. This whole container cost me 75 cents. So, I mean, I'm definitely fine with the gamble. And if I, you know, have to throw stuff away, that is totally fine um, for that price. So, and I don't think it's wasteful either because it was in the thrift store. So, um, there is that aspect. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll probably cut this, I'll just cut this section off here and use that for certain. And I really, I don't know if I want to mess with the hassle of untangling this all. Um, I'll put it there for a while and I'll see what I'm going to do and if I have the patience to deal with that or not. But even if I don't, I still did get this nice section here. So I could definitely do something with that. Kid's hat, little kid scarf, maybe something like that. Yeah. So um, I think I'm just going to make the decision. I'm just not going to mess with that. Uh, all of, whoops. That's super scratchy stuff. These scratchy, scratchy, the uh, oddball stripes, this, <laughs> and then these. They have shed all over my table at this point. Um, I mean, I can just see them floating in the air even. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. So I think that, so um, about half a bag of what I got, I am going to get rid of, um, but again, for 75 cents, so real quick, here is that, these variegated, these two, soft, oh, and then that little one that was the same, these two variegated, this, I think this is homespun. I just haven't seen that color before. This is a soft little cream colored. This chain spun green. This tiny little bit of blue. This blue green, green blue. This strange little lilac. I'm keeping these two pink. Cause I think that's that's doable. Um, the Karen Bliss. This strange thing. We will see. Should I just open it up? I won't. I'll leave it in the packaging for now and just see what I'm gonna do with that. <laughs> the twine. <laughs> that, like I said, will probably end up in my garden. And these two vintage mohairs. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. These, I mean, these have been around a while. And the more that I smell them, they're not as fresh. So I, I, you know what, I'm just going to make the decision. Well, it's cool to have vintage yarn. I don't think I'm going to mess with these because I don't want them. I just don't want them. I think that's what it is. So I will get rid of those. Yeah. So overall, I feel really good about this. And um, it's this is my feelings on it. I think it's great. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this.
I know I enjoyed doing this. Um, it was fun. If I find another one of these for that type of price, even a couple bucks, I will definitely um, try to pick that up and see what we can get out of it. But thanks again. I appreciate it. If you like this, please like and subscribe. I know it was super long. So if you made it this far, thank you for hanging out with me. Have a great day.